We're also learning simultaneously that Sarah Sanders is leaving the White House as a press secretary. The president tweeting out moments ago after three and a half years, I assume he means two and a half, but it might go back longer during the campaign. Our wonderful Sarah Huckabee Sanders will be leaving the White House at the end of the month and going home to the great state of Arkansas. She's a very special person with extraordinary talents who has done an incredible job. I hope she decides to run for governor of Arkansas, as you know her father was. She would be fantastic. Sarah, thank you for a job well done. Uh, quick reaction to all of these developments with the Washington Examiner's Hugo Gurdon, the district media's Beverly Hallberg, and Democratic strategist David Tafuri. David, I end it with you. I, I hate to hit all of you with these breaking news developments that you haven't had a chance to digest, but is it your sense, David, that this was inevitable? What do you think? Well, this is, I mean, I'm surprised. Uh, I think anyone who joins the Trump administration and works in the cauldron of the White House, this Trump administration, uh, the Trump, President Trump, working with President Trump is not easy. He's very demanding. He changes his mind frequently. He people who are very close to him end up becoming um, separated from him. So she actually survived much longer than many of her colleagues, many of her cohorts. But anyway, it is not fully unexpected because nobody lasts too long in this White House. Yeah, that's a long run, if, 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 if you think about it. But you go uh, over at the Washington Examiner. Uh, the, the timing of this is odd, only... You know, uh, just after the George Stephanopoulos interview with the president, which this hypothetical came up about would you accept intelligence from a foreign source? Uh, right. and, and the president, of course, uh, reacted the way he did and said, yeah, I'd be open to it. And m maybe he's pointing the finger. Why did you get me into this, Sarah Sanders? Well, I mean, that's an interesting theory. And I have to say that I don't know that that is the case. I suspect that there wouldn't have been quite such a, a fulsome uh, farewell if there'd been some friction between them. But I think that I Good would uh, agree with David that, you know, Sarah Sanders was working at the interface between the White House and, the, and uh, on the one hand and the press on the other. And there's a fantastic sort of clash between the two, and it's been going on. She's the one who, perhaps more than anything anybody else, has been dealing with that ex immensely tense and difficult relationship. And, you know, having to speak on behalf of, behalf of the, the president uh, and, the, and the administration and the White House, you know, every day, uh, day in, day out. And I'm sure that that's extremely extremely wearing. She has been the president's uh, sort of wingman or wingwoman in this case uh, for a long time and has done a job which I'm not surprised he's praising. You know, uh, Beverly, if you think about it, it is a long run to be in, 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 in essentially that same job uh, since the beginning of this administration. Uh, many have expressed frustration in the media that the president uh, doesn't hold as many press conferences, that there aren't these daily briefings to the extent that there were. Um, and, you know, that, that's not her call. That's the president's call. And that is what has got the media wincing when it always happens. They can't put that on her. But what do you think of this? Oh, well, first of all, I agree with my other panelists. This is one of the toughest jobs in Washington, D.C., I think, especially in this role with one of the presidents that would be toughest to be the press secretary for. He's had one of the most contentious relationships with the media. And so for her to go out there and I think do an amazing job in, in how she's handled this, I do think there have been a few controversies, but I wouldn't be surprised if just the rigor of this job combined with her being a mother is one of the reasons why she's saying right now, I definitely want to take a step back and do something different. But I also wouldn't be surprised to find out if the president was unhappy that he had this interview with George Stephanopoulos because of all of the controversy surrounding that. Who knows if that was her call? We probably won't find out. But I agree that was probably an interview he shouldn't have taken.